All right, what's up, guys? Bo Allen here. I've had a really, really fun time breaking down some interior defensive linemen that were just drafted in the NFL draft. I uh, had a lot of fun watching Jalen Carter and, you know, trying to predict what his role in the 2023 Eagles defense will look like. Coming up next, we got a dude who I'm super, super pumped about. I'm very excited about him. Kalijah Canty. He's drafted at 19th overall to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. He's a really explosive player. Um, I talked to some Buck scouts and front office guys. They were just <laughs> saying so many good things about his explosive playmaking ability, how violent he is with his hands and feet, and then um, talked about how strong he is as a player and had some good things to say about his character as well. So let's watch some tape, and I'll show you why they're so excited. Uh, one thing I would like to note here, check out this handy graphic that we definitely created. I actually made this myself in Microsoft Paint. Um, Aaron Donald, or Klyjah Cansey is often compared to Aaron Donald. You can see why. Very similar bodies, both 6'1", you know, somewhere between 280 and 285 pounds. Incredibly fast and athletic, 4'6", 7", 40-yard dash. I think this is like the fastest D-tackle 40-yard dash time ever. Um, and then Aaron Donald has slightly, slightly longer arms, but they're both really explosive playmakers from Pitt. I do want to give a shout out to Charlie Partridge, who is the Pitt defensive line coach. I had him at Wisconsin in 2010, 2011, and 2013. He's a really, really good coach. Unbelievable guy that I still talk to these days and did a really good job coaching up Clyde Jacansi because he's a hell of a player. Um, so let's see why here. I just want to show you a couple clips of why he is so good. So I just ran that through. Awesome sack. So here he is as a three technique. This is just a pure rush. You got four down rush. Three technique. He's working on the guard here. You know, usually when the back is tight like this, he's not split out to get out. So, you know, it's just going to be a passing situation. The ability that Kalijah Kansi has to be violent with his hands and feet and to win one-on-ones is what makes him special. And that's why he was drafted, you know, 19th overall. And that's why the Bucks are pumped about him. Just watch, you know, watch his first step. He does a little, you know, stutter, hesitate right here. Freezes the O-lineman, gets his left hand on this dude's back pad, brings his right arm through violently. Look at his feet and just how explosive he is. And then his ability to get that arm over. He's a short guy, but is like, look, look at this is not the position you want to be in if you're an offensive guard. He's a short guy that's hitting this big arm, arm over and his ability to hit these moves and get skinny and then power through it is awesome. Then that violent finish at the quarterback. I'm going to roll this one too. Let me run that back. Let me show you what I like about that clip. So here he is. Like I said, he is a shorter guy. He's 6'1". He's, you know, he was 281 pounds at the combine. But he's in here mixing it up where nose guards or do, motherfuckers like me, they're 330, 340 pounds play. He's right down in there in the middle. And what I love about this clip, I'm going to stop it if I can. So he's playing run here, okay? This is a play action, but watch how explosive he is with his hands once he realizes it's a pass and how fast he's able to convert to pass, get skinny with his upper body, and affect the quarterback. Watch this. Bam, right there. Oh, uh, I love that. Man, he probably wants that sack back. I'm going to run that clip back and show you what I love about it. So right here, here is a three technique. Not really sure the details here, but, you know, we call this a long stick. He's going all the way to his opposite A-gap. So he takes great angle footwork. Boom. Look at this. Look at this right hand here. Focusing on the center. Bam. There's that swim again. See this? This, you know, this is his left arm here right in the back pad. The center's leaning. Got him right where he wants him. Finishes it. Gets vertical. Oh, he's going to want that sack back. So I threw these clips in there because one of the knocks on Kalijah Kansi is that he is a smaller frame, but he's so explosive and he plays so strong that it is really something I'm not frankly too worried about. So he's a two eye here again, like he was in one of the previous clips. The back is away from him. So he's expecting some sort of, you know, zone run at him. Um, watch how he takes his bump from the center. Doesn't even get moved. He's really good job. His feet, his cleats are on the ground. One thing I really like about this clip too are his eyes. Look at it. Look at this. He's watching. He's, even though he's supposed to be an A gap player here, but he knows that the center's on him, so there really isn't an A gap. There's a lot of space here in this B gap, though. 
whose eyes are right there. Once he feels the bump leave, he starts to work back towards his A-gap, but he's so violent with his right hand posting it, kind of turning that offensive guard. And he feels a space here, so he just, bam, it's great playmaking ability. Really, really good at getting off blocks. Here's another clip. I'm just showing these clips because I'm fucking, I don't want anyone to talk about his play strength or his size. It's really not a concern of mine at all. Here he is as a three technique again. Watch him take on this double team. Fucking splits it so nice. He's a good player. Here's another guy that, you know, people were concerned about his size. Talked about him earlier, Aaron Donald. Very similar body types. Taking on a double team from two offensive linemen without any issues. I'm just going to let this one roll. Not play strength for Klaja Kansi is not a concern of mine. He's a great job by Aaron Donald. He's a generational talent. Oh, who's this guy? Who's this handsome fella? You might know a little bit about defending the run. Oh, hell yeah. That guy's probably a fucking beast at pickleball. All right, moving on. I want to show this clip because it's electric. So this move that you're about to see here, here's Klaja Kansi. This is called a cross chop. D linemen love hitting this move. It, when you hit one pure, it's it's a great feeling. It wasn't a move that I hit very much, but let me start this clip over. Watch Clash Cancy here. Boom! Cross shot defeats the guard, defeats the running back. It's amazing. I'm just gonna run these Aaron Donalds. This is why he's being compared to Aaron Donald. Watch this cross shot. It's like AD's signature move. Gets that back pad. He closes so fast. I've sex Rosen without even leaving. Oh, who's this guy? Look at this. Look at this. Oh, not a cross shot. That's a hump. Fun move. Uh, the reason I showed that previous clip, besides I want to gas myself up a little bit, is because I was with the Bucks. I am familiar with their defense. Um, and so I want to walk you through how I would expect the Bucks to use Kalaja Kansi. What we're looking at right here is just an early down run front, a very, very basic day one install uh, for the Bucks. So Todd Bowles, was a defensive coordinator when I was there in 2019. He's now the head coach. Casey Rogers, one of my favorite D-line coaches. He's been in the NFL for like 30 years. He's a really, really good coach. I'm sure he's stoked about Kalaja Kansi as well. Um, but he's now the defensive coordinator. So I'd expect them to, you know, continue to run under, especially on early downs against 12 personnel, like why, why, what we see here. All under defenses. Kalaja Kansi is going to be where Ndamukong Sue is. Okay, so he's going to be a three technique on the open side of an under defense. I'm going to roll to the end zone so I can show you a little bit better what I'm talking about. All right, here's the end zone copy. This is where I'd expect Klaja Kansi to be, although he is really athletic. So I could see him maybe playing, you know, a five, somewhere on the front side of this, but he is a three technique. That's why he's drafted. So he's going to be lined up on the backside right here. And all the Rams are doing, they're running outside zone to their strength, their YY over here. These two dudes are comboing up to Levante David. So this tackle is just trying to overtake Sue, cut him out. If he blocks him, this thing's going to you know, cut back for a, likely for a touchdown. Just picture Kalaja Kansi, his explosive ability as a three-tech here on the backside of under. Cracking that B-gap, beating this tackle with his speed and athleticism, and making a TFL here. That's all I'm trying to show. That's what I expect from him with the Bucks. Bucks are in under. Again, Ndamukong Sue has a three technique lined up here. Eagles are going to run an outside zone. That same slip block from the offensive line. I'll show you a little bit more from the end zone copy. Right? So this is where I would expect Kalijah Kansi to be. Uh, Vita Vey will be back. I think he'll work very, very well with Kalijah Kansi. He demands a lot of attention up front. It's a big load. All right. So, again, like I said, these two dudes – comboing here what you're going to see on this play the tight end is going to flash back which is going to bring levante here but these two dudes are just zoning this way what i'm expecting from Kansi when he's the three tech and under is his ability his athleticism his ability to penetrate the offensive line he's going to be able to beat these tackles and just hopefully walk right in the backfield this is where you see him it's a good job by sue lane johnson's very good very good alignment all right so moving on a big, big part of the Bucks defense under Todd Bowles is blitzing. And that's great for a player like Kalaja Kansi. Uh, Pitt's run, running some sort of middle blitz here with their linebackers. So he's kind of got to get the fuck out of the way. He's copping the B-gap, which means, you know, he's containing through the B-gap. I just want to show, you know, how good Kalaja Kansi is off the ball. 
how good he is at penetrating. There's a little bit of a cross shop, how violent his arms are, and how he can affect quarterbacks. Pick six. Love it. So here he is. He's going he's gonna to angle all the way around here. Look at him. Look at his feet. It's so active. It's awesome. All right, so this is what we're going to see out of the Bucks. So the Bucks, they love to blitz. They love to zero blitz especially. Um, what zero blitz means is that these dudes are all in man, and you're bringing everybody. You're bringing more than they can block, so the ball's going to be out. Todd loves to run this kind of stuff in the you know red zone, high red zone. These dudes are all blitzing, okay? Everybody knows that. Look at Devin White here. He's not looking at the back. Everyone's blitzing. What I would expect to see Klaus Kansas is right here in a three technique where Sue is. What, all they're doing is a zero blitz with a little bit of a, a stunt. So Sue's the penetrator here, and then they're going to bring Vita around him just to, um, you know, confuse the O-line a little bit, get some pressure. Todd loves these exotic blitzes. I would expect Klaus Kansas to be right here, crack that like we saw earlier, and keep on going. This next blitz is awesome. Watch this one. All right, here we go. Third and five, ball in the 34. Look at this, big fella. Vita Vea off the ball. Tough matchup for our boy right here, left guard. Watch him get a full head of steam. That's a fucking train on the tracks, man. Just wanted to show this clip, first of all, because it's awesome. I love their use of Vita here. Look at big fella, no gloves. Bad dude. Um, but just wanted to show how Todd loves these exotic blitzes, willing to do a bunch of different things. I could see Kalaja can see with his athleticism, you know, he could line up out here. He could be a zero where Akeem Hicks is. He could be over here. He could also be off the ball getting a full head of steam like, like Vita is here. A lot of different possibilities for him blitzing under Todd Bowles' defense. Tough. <laughs> Tough matchup. Uh, so I want to roll through some of these highlights uh, from Kansi. He had so many awesome plays. He had – uh, what was it? Something like 35 TFLs, 15 and a half sacks in college. His playmaking ability is awesome. That's the kind of thing that translates really well into the NFL. Just the ability to make plays. There's definitely something to be said for that. Um, you don't really have to look too hard to find highlights of Kalijah Kansi because he's so good and he's so explosive. You know, for some players, you got to go all the way back to December of 2019 against the Colts to find some highlights. Yeah, I'm talking about myself there. This dude – Every single game feels like a highlight. Here he is against, you know, Virginia UVA. I'm just going to roll these through because they're so fun to watch. He's so explosive. He's so good. He's so good with his hands and feet. So violent. Finishing at the quarterback always. Look at his ability to twist and bend and crack these, you know, these slide protections. It's awesome. I'm just going to shut the fuck up and let you guys enjoy It's like a 15-yard sack right there. I love that. All righty. So, as I'm sure you could tell by those clips, I'm very excited about Kalaja Kansi. I know that the Bucks are too. Getting him at 19 is awesome. I think he fits really, really well into, you know, what Todd Bowles is trying to do, what, you know, Casey Rogers is coaching up in that D-line room in Tampa. Really explosive. He can win one-on-ones. He can rush the passer. I think he's really good in the run game too. He's stout, you know. Um, sometimes those hard, those those smaller guys are hard to block. So overall, it's a great pick. I'm really stoked to see him play in the NFL.